So in this video, we're going to walk through the steps of calculating the, the distribution factors and power flow for a simple two-node electricity network. So our network is going to look something like this. So we're going to have a generator at one node, and we're going to have a load at the other node. And these two nodes are going to be connected by two lines, one of which has resistance R1, and the other one has resistance R2. Now, when the power goes from the generator to the load, it's going to divide itself among these two lines based on the relative resistances, R1 versus R2. The absolute resistances don't matter. It's just the relative resistance. So to make our lives a little easier, what we're going to do is we're going to write R2 is equal to alpha times R1. Okay. So the proportion of the power flow that goes on line one or line two, those are described by the distribution factors. So the distribution factor for this line right here with resistance R1, which we call D1, is going to be equal to the inverse of R1, 1 over R1, divided by 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Okay. And then we're going to make our substitution, alpha R1 for R2. Okay. And all of the R1s are going to cancel. Okay. And so what we're left with is that the distribution factor on this line which is the proportion of the power that goes from G to L that flows over this line, is going to be equal to 1 divided by 1 plus 1 over alpha. Okay, And we can go through the same thing for D2, which is the proportion of the power that flows over this line. Okay, And what we're going to get is that D2 is going to be equal to 1 over alpha divided by 1 plus 1 over alpha. All right, so now we're going to do an example. And this example is going to have alpha equal to 1. And alpha is e equal to 1 means that the two resistances are exactly the same. So R1 is equal to R2. So to calculate D1, the proportion of power that flows on on this line right here, we're going to plug alpha equals 1 into the formula for D1. Okay, And so what we're going to get is we're going to get 1 over 1 plus 1 over 1, which is just equal to 1 half. So D2 is going to be equal to 1 over 1 divided by 1 plus 1 over 1 which is 1 half. So as a second example, let's take alpha is equal to 2. And so what this means is that the resistance of R2 is twice as big as the resistance of R1. So when we calculate D1 in this case, we're going to get D1 is equal to 1 over 1 plus 1 half, okay, or D1 is equal to 2 thirds. And so D2 is going to be equal to 1 over 2 divided by 1 plus 1 over 2, which is 1 third.